The men's physique division has evolved from beach bodies with long shorts to dense muscle and more recently, quad development. Only a few have been able to survive through the evolution from then to what is now the modern day and age of men's physique. Ryan Terry, Jeremy Buendia, Andre Ferguson, Sadiq, George Brown are just a few notable names. And the others, they tried but simply did not see the same level of success that they previously did. Steve Cook, Anton Antifab, Jason Poston, and Jeff Seed. Until now. So I've decided after eight years, it's finally time that I'm gonna be stepping on stage again. So I haven't competed since 2016. That's when I won the Stockholm Pro, competed at the Mr. Olympia. I'm sure you guys remember all that shit. That was way back in the day. But I've decided after eight years, it's finally time to compete again. At the origin of the division, Jeff Side was the most popular name and face of the men's physique division. Most now know him for his social media and influencing presence, but some forget just how good of a men's physique competitor he actually was. At the age of 19, Jeff won his very first pro show, which I believe makes him the youngest IFBB pro at that time. But he won his first pro show, qualifying him for the Olympia in 2023. He then went on to win multiple pro shows throughout his career, and earning two additional Olympia qualifications before stepping away from the stage in 2016. And eight years later, he's back. In Jeff's announcement video, he announced that he was three and a half weeks out from stepping on stage. Now, he also noted that he did not want to specifically say which show that he was doing, but of course, me being me, I wanted to be nosy and figure out what show he was doing. So I took a look at the schedule and I tried to match it up to his specific timeline. Now. There aren't any specific shows that I can say are solidified for that timeline, but there are two. One being Optimum. Now, Optimum is a phenomenal show and will likely be something where he can dip his toe in. It's not one of the bigger shows like New York or Pittsburgh, but it is an opportunity for him to make a really good comeback and potentially do very well. But then I noticed the show after that, Miami. And why I think Miami is so interesting was because as I'm scrolling on Jeff's page, I wanted to try to get a sense of where he's from, where he lives. And I think that would have helped me figure out potentially what show he's doing. Come to find out, Jeff lives in Miami. So putting two to two together with the timeline, with the travel, I think it's official. Jeff will be stepping on stage at the Miami Muscle Beach Pro and which makes matters even more interesting. That is likely the show that I will be debuting at for my 2024 season. So in my career, I will have the opportunity to not only stand on stage with Diogo, with Ryan Terry, with Andre Ferguson, George Brown, Sadiq Hazovic, but now Jeff. And guys, as a fan of this sport, this is something that I honestly never thought would be a potential. But I think this is something that I honestly, when I, when I peel back all the layers, I, I'm excited for, you know, again, I am a fan of men's physique just as much as I'm an athlete. You know, when I'm coming up and, and grinding through the ranks, you know, these are the people I looked up to. These are the people who kind of set the standard of what men's physique was, which originally attracted me to this division. Now, let's be real. Nothing doesn't change. I'm not coming for second place and I'm coming for his head. But in the same breath, I think it's going to be really cool standing on stage with somebody who has helped this division so much. Do we think that Jeff will be competitive in the modern day and age of men's physique? And if you were to ask me, the answer is no. Though he has great aesthetics and a division is still heavily focused on aesthetics, it doesn't change the fact that the division has evolved drastically since he's last graced the stage. More size, sharper conditioning, different posing, wider structures, and just simply more emphasized physiques but what do you guys think do you think that he has an opportunity to truly make a difference or make an impact 
in his comeback. You know, there's a lot of fans out there who I can guarantee want to see Jeff succeed simply because they're not a fan of the direction of men's physique. They think they're too big. They think they're too dense. They think the posing has changed. And they think the overall look of men's physique has gotten too far away from its roots. I've always been somebody who understands that everything evolves, right? If you take a look at the old bodybuilders compared to now, it's the same thing. And it's the same thing with men's physique athletes, right? Everything evolves, but they are still trying to put an emphasis on making sure that men's physique doesn't lose its way. Again, with the height and the weight cap. Those are things that are really being focused on in this 2024 season. Now with Jeff coming back during this time, is this an opportunity for the division to, again, make sure and reward a look that isn't necessarily going too far away from what it used to be. You know the cool thing about the Miami Muscle Beach Pro? That it is being judged by the vice president himself, Tyler Mannion. The man who comes up with which each division is being rewarded for. So we will have a very clear understanding after this show on whether or not Jeff fits what the division is now looking for. We've heard it time and time again throughout the last couple of years of the standard and, and the structure and what's being rewarded versus what's not, leg development versus not. There's been a lot of change in this division but now there's an opportunity to literally bridge the gap of the root of men's physique to the modern day and let's be real jeff took eight years off it's safe to say during that time he likely put on a little bit more muscle than the last time we saw him and if he put on enough muscle who knows he could be competitive he could stand out. Andre Brenton is a prime example. He is never the biggest guy on stage, but he is very aesthetic, right? He's very balanced. And because of that, he just qualified for the 2024 Olympia. Now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm not saying Jeff is going to qualify for the Olympia, but it's not necessarily just a size game. But we also know that Jeff also had the aesthetics the last time he stepped on stage. But it's a big difference when you're standing on stage with these guys. So I'm really excited to see how his physique has changed over the years. And again, whether or not he is going to be rewarded for the time that he took off in those eight years. And regardless, as a fan of the men's physique division and as an athlete of the division, I'm excited for Jeff's comeback. This is going to bring a lot of eyes and publicity to the division. And this already year has been off to one crazy start. And it's safe to say it's just heating up. So with that being said, guys, comment below. Do you believe that Jeff will have an opportunity to truly be successful in the 2024 season? Or will he get humbled? But regardless, like we said, the men's physique division is getting crazy. Buckle up, guys. I cannot wait to continue to cover and bring more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace. If you are interested in coaching, I'm now taking on four more spots for the 2024 season. All you have to do is click the link below. I would love to pick your brain, hear a little bit more about what your goals are, and see if we could be a good fit. And as always, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh,